Hi everybody, welcome to Excelia Life with Robert Harley. I am Robert Harley, your host today. Today is Sunday, so we're going to talk about, we're going to continue talking about the five human elements. Remember last week we started this, we dealt with the spirit, soul, body, finance, and social. Now we're going to talk about, we're going to do a little, little quick review, and then we're going to get right into Tonight, we're going to focus more on the spirit tonight. Talk about more about the spirit. Um, but before I do, as usual, welcome everyone who's, who came to join me. Welcome. I'm glad you're, glad you're watching tonight. Tonight, I hope you get something out of what I'm going to share tonight. I'm excited that you're here with me tonight. Also, please, as usual, Use as usual as I ask in every video. Please like these videos, these videos. Please share these videos. Please leave a comment on these videos, and I really, really, really greatly appreciate it. Um, also, if 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 you want to share these videos on your on your timeline, on in your groups, group or groups, if it belongs to more than one groups, you can please do so. Also, also if you know of anyone who might benefit from what I've shared tonight and say, hey, this person could, you know, benefit from watching this video. Please tag them and, or send the videos to them to watch. When you put a comment, the comment in, um, in the, leave a comment if you want, for the, if this is your first time watching one of my video or two, if you see my videos before. Also, let me know where you're watching from. I would really, really appreciate that. What city, what province, what state, what country you're living, you're watching this live video from. It's amazing. I got some of the feedback from people and some amazing, some uh, places that people are watching this video from. And it's the internet suit, is, the internet is truly amazing of how we can reach people from all, literally all over the world. That's so unique about this whole thing. Um, here's someone. Hey Rajesh, thanks to um, thanks for coming on board. Welcome, brother. So last week we started this. Uh, we talking about the five human elements. We talk about uh, the um, spirit, soul, and body. Last week, if you're John, if you saw last week video, you can um, remember we talk about the five human elements. We talk about the spirit, soul, and body mo mostly, and then we have the finances and the and then the social. These are five human elements, five areas that affect all humans. We talked about last week how we are first and foremost, first and foremost, we are spirit beings. We live as, we, we have a soul and we live in a body. And then there's the financial part of the, the you know, the economical part of human existence. We live here, we got to, survive somehow and the, the currency of this planet is called money or finances so we have that to deal with and then you have the, the relationship with other people the social we have relation we we as as human being we're we're um we're we're it's part of our makeup to have relationship with others we're not, we're not we're not islands you know we're not supposed to be be all by ourselves so you have, you have the social area, the relationship area of our lives, and this is affect all of us. We, we all like that. Um, so last week we talk about how, yeah. So we have first of all spirit, soul, and body. We talk about how God created us. He when He created man, He created the body of man, and then out of the, out of the ground of the, the ground of the earth. The dirt of the earth, the earth. He created the the body of man, but then after he created created the body, he breathed the breath of life inside the body, the, like a part of God Himself. He took part of Himself, God. In, he took part of Himself and he implanted it into it became a living soul. That's where we got our spirit from. We are first and foremost spirit. We came from God. We're going to talk about that most. We're going to talk about that tonight. And so, so God breathed into the man the breath of life. And man became a living soul. We came, we and the difference between us and animal. We talked about this last week also. The difference between us and animal is animal have a body and they have a soul. 
but they don't have a spirit, at least not the kind of same kind of spirit that we have. We have a different types of spirit. Now, the Apostle Paul talks about the different types of spirit in the book of Corinthians. I'm not going to get into that, but there's different types of spirits, um, uh, different types of, of uh, classes of spirits, right? And talks about that in the book of Corinthians. I mean, not, but we're not going to talk about that right now. We, we talk about mostly the spirit of man our spirit right and how how um that is so so we talk about that how we're different from animals because because we have a spirit while animals don't have one so um even angels our spirit angels are spirits spiritual beings too but even us even so our spirit is different us uh, being a different class of spirit than uh, even angels Again, we're not going to get into that, but that's also a, um, a, 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 a truth right there. We are also, we are, spirit, we are first and foremost spirit beings. We are a spirit. We have a soul. Our soul is made up of mind, will, and emotions. Then we have a body. Our body is temporal. We have, we have so much social and spiritual, um, fin financial and social. So let's get into talk about the more the spirit. Now, now one of the things I want to point out about the spirit, our spirit is the eternal part of it. That's why you put your eternal. Our spirit is the eternal part of us. That part of us is like God. It will live forever. Now, according to the Bible, your, your spirit will live forever in one of two places, either heaven or in hell, according to the teachings of the Bible. Yeah, you, you have a, a choice. We have a choice to choose where we're going to spend eternity, either in heaven or in hell. We're not going to get into that too deeply tonight. But we are. We our spirit is um, is an eternal being. We will we will not die. The way we understand death, we would not die. The way we understand death. Yes, our body will someday die. You know, some they die because of sin, but our our spirit will never die. Our spirit is eternal. We our spirit can and will live without our body. Again, I'll say that again. Our spirit, our spirit can and will live on without our body. Our body cannot. Our oh, let me see. Let me say that again. Our spirit can live without our body, but our body cannot live without our spirit. For our body to be alive, it needs our spirit to be in it to be alive. Once our spirit leaves at the point of our death, whether it's natural death or death from a sickness or disease or accidental death like death in a, a car accident, whatever, however, or death we'd end up dying once our body leaves once our spirit leave our body our body dies but our spirit lives on it's an eternal part of us we will not die it's a part of us that came directly from god when god created us and breathed the breath of life into man he put a part of himself in us that's why we are so unique that's why we're so different from the rest of creation and that's why God value us so much, so highly. He placed such great value on us that he even sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for us. And again, we're not going to get into that, but God placed a, a great deal of, uh, in us. Even the Bible says, when I, um, I think it was in the Psalms, it said, when I stop and considered, Thy work, the works of thine hand. He's, and he said, what is man that you are so mindful of him? What is man that you are so mindful of him? That he, have been, he, he put such value on this, this creation called man. He put so much stock in this man. Even though man have failed you, man have denied you, yet you value man so much and so highly. What is man that you are so mindful of him? That's what the, 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 the psalmist says in the book of Psalms. So God placed a great big deal of value on you and me, on you and me. He values us so much. 
because he put a part of himself that you and I are great. We have greatness in you, in us. We have great, we have, we, we have untapped power and potential. Some things that we don't even realize that we can do. Um, we have gifts and talent that God has placed inside of us. Gifts and talent that that's there for us to touch the soul world or make a difference in this soul world. God did not create us to, to live as paupers. He did not create us to just barely get him by. He did not get created us for, for us to be living below our potential. When God created you and we created me, he created us with greatness within us. Greatness within us, but it's right here. It's right here in our spirit. Now, when the Bible talks about the spirit of man, he, the Bible always referred to the spirit of man as the heart of man. The heart of man. I have a little verse of scripture here. I'm going to read you. This is from Psalms. Okay, let me, before you go into, um, pro, actually it's on Proverbs. Before you go into Proverbs, let me read you the foundational scripture that they teach in And it says in First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23, And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, I pray, God, your whole spirit, soul, on and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So that's our foundational spirit. In scripture we're dealing and we're talking about that we, even in the Bible, it shows us the difference that we are spirit, we have a soul, and we have a body. So... Let's go now to um, Proverbs twenty, Proverbs chapter four. Those of you who have the Bible, if you want to follow along, we're going to the book of Proverbs, chapter four, starting at verse twenty. Proverbs chapter four, verse twenty. Say, my son, attend to my words; incline an ear unto my saying. Let them not depart from thy, from thine, um, from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. Remember, here's the word heart. Remember, every time the Bible talks about the heart of man or the heart, it's referring to the spirit. And when the Bible talks about our heart, it's not re referring to our physical heart that's pumping blood through our bodies. That's not what it's talking about. When the Bible talks about the, you said, keep them in thine heart. You're talking about in the spirit. Keep them in your spirit. Again, we can talk about that some more, but um, keep them in thy heart. For, thy, for they are life unto those that find them, and health to their flesh. So, so the, the, the word of God is beneficial not only to the spirit of man, but it's also beneficial to the body of man. Because the body it says right here, it's health to your flesh. When he talks about the flesh, he talks about the body, the physical body in this case. So the flesh... Keep them in, in keep them with all diligent for out keep thy okay, sorry, verse 23. Sorry, I messed up there. Keep thine heart with all diligent, for out of it are the issues of life. Keep your heart with all diligence. Keep your heart, your spirit. You have to guard the spirit. You guard your spirit of what enters into your spirit. Because why? In your spirit is what flows the issues of life. In your in the Bible, the Jesus said, from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. What's in your heart in this in, a, in abundance? What's in your spirit? Your heart will speak, will flows the issues of life. What you what's in your spirit in abundance, your heart, your mouth will speak, you will speak and what you speak and there's a is what your your belief, your belief system, your 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 um your outlook on life, how you see yourself, how you see you how you see your, the world around you, all these things comes from the heart, your heart, from your spirit. 
your spirit is that heart of you that God that, that the Bible talks about. It's your heart that you have to guard your heart with all diligent. Why? Because out of it comes the issues of life. That's why you have to be so careful about what you read, what you watch on TV, what you, the people you hang around with, the books you read. All those kind of things have an influence on the heart, on your spirit. And what's in your heart or in your spirit in abundance, that's what will come out. And, you know, someone asked, uh, someone, I, I once heard someone ask this question, you know, when we go to heaven, will we know each other? When, when we go to heaven, will we recognize each other? And the answer is, of course, when you go to heaven, you're going to recognize each other. Let's say I, I'm here right now in, in, um, in Canada. I'm living in Canada right now. Let's say one day I moved to Africa. I moved, decided to go move to Africa. Let's say some years later, one of you guys meet me on the streets, walking on the streets of Africa. Don't you think you'll recognize me? <laughs> if you recognize me when I was living in Canada, you'll recognize me when I'm in living in Africa. It's going to be the same me. The same thing when it, when we happen when we when we move to heaven or go to heaven, we're going to recognize each other. Your 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 body is just our physic. It's an outward reflection of your spirit. I'll say that again. Your body is just an outward reflection of your spirit, of your spirit, the spirit man inside of you. If you if your spirit man was standing right, if my spirit man was standing right beside me, my my body right now, you would be exactly the same. This one one would be a spirit, the other one would be, be a physical body, but it was the same thing. Your body is, is just an outward reflection of your spirit, but it's in your spirit, the heart of man, that flow is is there is your belief system, is how you see yourself your self-reflection, your confidence, on all those kind of things. But it's important, it's it's very vitally important of how and what you feed your spirit. You can there's ways to feed your spirit. And the best the best food, <laughs> the spiritual food, there's out there's this there's spiritual food, there's soulish food, so food for the soul. And there's this physical food, you know, we all know about physical food. We all love physical food. You know, the 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 the, um, the United States just like celebrated their Thanksgiving. I'm sure a lot of people had a really good Thanksgiving dinner. They eat food for the body, right? <laughs> so we know about the physical food. We're familiar with physical food, but there's also food for the soul. And then there's also food for the spirit. The best thing you can feed your spirit is, first of all, the word of God. The, the, read the Bible. But also just read, you know, read positive inspirational books and listen to positive inspirational videos and CDs and stuff like that. Feed your spirit. Because whatever you feed your spirit or your heart, that's what's going to come out of it. Come out in abundance. Feed your spirit, feed your heart. The best thing you can do it is to feed you, feed it with the word of God, the Bible. Read your Bible on a daily basis or a continuous basis or on a regular basis. If you can't read it every day, at least try to read it on a somewhat basic, um, regular um, basic so a couple of days a week or something like that but read it feed your spirit feed your heart because out of the heart as the scripture says is the issues of life how you see yourself how you see this world how you you, you how you act how you your belief system about yourself you know it's so that's why it's so important for us to have um correct beliefs you know this False belief, and then there's this the truth. And false belief, if you have false belief about yourself, false belief about the world, false belief about God, false belief about money, false belief about you know relationships and stuff like that. We have false belief about all of these kind of different things. That's how you're gonna that's how you're gonna act or carry out your life. So you're saying it's very, very important for you to have correct beliefs or the truth, believe in the truth.
about yourself, about God, about money, about relationship, about this whole world that we're living in. Because as you believe, as, as a man, as a as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he, according to the Bible, according to Jesus. That a quote from Jesus himself. He says, As a man thinketh in his heart, in his spirit, as he thinketh in his spirit, not just think it up here in your mind, will and so not not in the not, not just in the soul, in the mind and will emotion, but in here, as you think in the spirit in your soul. Just that's how he is. How do you think in your spirit? Is what is your belief? What you feed your spirit about yourself? What you feed your heart about your, about the circumstances that you're facing and stuff like that? What what you believe in your heart about the issues that you're facing in life? That's how you're gonna operate your life according to your belief. And that's why you need to feed your spirit good food. Feed it good food, and the best number one food you can feed your spirit or your heart is the first and foremost, the Word of God. The Bible says the Word of God is spirit, and they are life. The Word of the Word is spirit, and it is life. It is life to your soul. It is life to your spirit. Because remember, first and foremost, we ourselves are spirit. We have a soul. We live in a body. We have spiritual food, we have soulless food, and we have physical food. And the best food for all three of these areas, the best food you can feed, because we, we also read it here. We also read it here in the same, the same passage of scriptures in verse 23 of Proverbs 24, 22 actually, verse 22 in Proverbs 2, it said, it says, for they are life unto those that find them and health, health to all their flesh. They're talking about, this is this, this part of the scripture is talking about the word of God. If you back up here, it says, my son, attend to my words. In verse 20, att attend to my words, incline thine ears unto my saying, let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. In the midst of your heart, the spirit. Again, you're not talking about the physical heart. I'm talking about the spirit, the core part of you, your spirit. For they are life unto those that find them. Your life, you give you life. Give you life, the source, of, the source of, of life. And health to all their flesh. Keep thine heart with all diligence, for out of it flows the issues of life. And so... In closing tonight, in closing, because I'm I, every time I do these time these videos, I try to be time sensitive. I don't want to go too long. I don't want to make these video for these videos too long. So, in closing tonight, you and I we're not a mistake. God created you. He created me. He created you with a purpose. He created you with potential. He created you with a plan in mind. He's, the Bible says, for I know the thoughts that I have towards you. They are thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you and uh, prosper you and uh, to bring you to an expected end. Plan for you. He built you with, per with potential, with gifts and talent that he placed within you, in your heart, in your spirit. He put those things inside of you. You are not a mistake. When you were born, God did not say, oh, my goodness, so-and-so is born. Now, what are we going to do? Oh, my goodness, he's born. You know, he's just born. What are we going to do now? Oh, quickly, quick, quick. Let's, let's come up with a plan for him. Let's come up with a purpose for him. No, no, no. <laughs> even before you were born, long before you got, you were born, even before you were even conceived in the minds of your parents, God has already from from eternity past, if you already have a plan and a purpose and a, and and um, and and put, built you with potential for your life, for you to go forth and live your life to the fullest, for according to His plan and purpose for your life, God wants you to have the best. 
He designed you to, for you to live the best. You know, this, um, you know, last week I talked about, you know, when, when God created us, we created this whole universe. There's no such thing as lack and shortage in this whole universe. We are living in a, a world of abundance. We are living in a world of abundance. And inside of each one of us is abundance. Abundance of ideas, abundance of dreams, abundance of potential, abundance of purpose, abundance of gifts, talents, and abilities, abundance of riches, you know, riches, riches, that's right, riches, both the physical riches and the spiritual riches. God has placed it all inside of us. God has placed it all inside of us. And it's up to us to live it, to bring it forth, bring forth that which God has placed inside of us, greatness. We all have greatness inside of us. That's how God built us. That's how he designed us. That's the per plan and purpose for us for our lives. There's greatness inside of you. There's greatness inside of me. And it's about time we bring that forth so the rest of the world can see it and be aware of it. Let's all just rise up and rise up to the full potential that God has placed inside of us. There's gifts and talent inside of you. There's gifts and talent inside of me. Some of it we haven't even tapped into yet. Some of it we're not even aware of yet. But it's time for us to start, you know, start, just start doing things. You know, that's one of the reasons why I do these live videos. It's, it's part of me just starting, you know. I have I posted something on, on, on my Facebook wall that something I, I shared from somebody else who posted it. He said, part of the part of the secret of success is just starting. Just start. Step out and start. Right? And that's what you have to do. So realize your purpose, realize your potential, realize that God made you. You're not an accident. You're, you're not an accident. God knew you even before you were even conceived in the minds of your parents. God has a gift. God has a purpose and a plan and a purpose for your life. There is a reason why you're here. There's a reason why you were born. And you, when you were born, God has a, a plan and a purpose for your life. And you know what? He put the potential inside of you to fulfill your purpose. And most of all, as I, say, as I start saying, God placed such value on, on, on you. God plus, plus put placed such value, high value on you, high value, that he sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for us. When we when we fell into sin, again, I'm not going to get too much too deep into that. But it's such value inside of us that He gave us His only Son, His very best that He had, to pay the price for our sins, to bring us in back into relationship with Him. That's how much He loved us. That's how much He loved you. That's how much He loves me. That He gave us His very best to bring us back into relationship with him. Why? Because we are his children. We are his chosen ones. We are his prized possessions. He, we are the apples of his eyes. God love you beyond words that human could come up with. Anyways. <laughs> oh my goodness. I want to keep going, but I'm going to stop there for now. So, I hope I said something that that um, move you, inspire you, motivate you in some way, shape, or form. If I did, please share these videos with others that would benefit from them. And please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Even if I say something that you don't agree with, just let me, let me know. Um, and just share these videos, please. Like, share, and leave a comment. And I greatly, greatly appreciate it. I thank everyone for coming on. Let me go up closer to see who is here. Rajesia, Elizabeth, thank you. Belicia, thank you. Um, Nazam, thank you for coming on, guys. And anybody else who's watching the replay of this video, thank you for watching. Please like and share. I greatly appreciate it.
Thank you for coming in. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you. I love you. Don't forget, don't, don't forget tomorrow night. Tomorrow night is going to be another exciting topic. We're going to talk about something a little different. Sundays, Sundays is um, a little spiritual day. Mondays, we're going to talk about some more of our plan, purposes, and potential for us that, that we all have. All right? So tune in again tomorrow. Thank you for tuning in tonight. God bless you. I love you. Peace.